Hey, this is Alistair Miller, Product Manager with GOI, coming back to you at the end of the day Thursday from Google I.O. I uh, wanted to show a couple more things related to what we're doing with Maps Engine. Similar content to what you what I talked about before, but through different applications and different ways that we're you know, experimenting with productizing how we're going to offer Maps Engine out to the market. So what we're looking at here is based on our IQ platform, where the skinning, uh, the interface, the UI is really similar to what we've had uh, deployed to various users for the past two years, but the background is actually all running on Maps Engine, pulling in the data from that Maps Engine account, uh, filling out through the maps we created. So I have a very easy way to go. Right now we're looking at an airport in Toulouse, which the base of Google is actually, I think, six years old at this point, but we have imagery from last year much more updated. Or if I wanted to go simply tab over to a different area, look at the tornado that went through Joplin, Missouri last year in 2011, be able to see tiles come in really quickly, very easy to use interface for somebody. It is based uh, on the Maps API background, so very easy to navigate where it's simple drag. You can use these controls for zooming in or zooming out, or you can use scroll bar, scroll bar on a mouse. Uh, another thing to look at, which I think I showed earlier, is a single layer of the Olympic construction. But what's interesting about this is going through this interface, we're also working on putting together a gallery that I can show you the same data through a different application that, we, that we're working to put together. So with this map gallery, the idea behind it is for any of the maps that we create through Maps Engine, we want to be able to have an interface that customers can come to to access to see what's available, what do they currently have access to, and what they may want to buy access to uh, moving forward. So we'll take a look at this London Olympics construction, and this will bring up a dynamic multi-map where we're pulling in the five different images that are from February 2011 through May of 2012, and all of these are in sync. So as I pan around them, you see that the maps stay in sync. I zoom out, zoom in, they're gonna stay in sync, which gives users a very easy way to go visually see what's changed in a given area across multiple images. There's no need to toggle different layers on and off, anything like that. Just use this simple interface to see the difference. You know, in this case, whether it's in the stadium and to see the construction and progress there, or I'll zoom down to this area south of the stadium and see that what was originally an industrial area in the first image becomes kind of cleared out under construction in the second. Then you see the construction of an auxiliary track that comes through and is just about complete as of May. I think the folks in London may have a little bit more work that they need to do to actually tie things up and get this ready for the athletes to come and prepare. I'm sure they'll do it because there's a whole lot running on it. But one of the nice things with this view is being able to get this multiple view of a temporal stack of data work with it all within the same interface, very easy to control, and have very easy access to the data. So that's, I guess, a wrap on what I'm going to talk about today from Google I.O. I won't be here tomorrow, so you don't get a video of my smiling face tomorrow, unfortunately. Probably much preferred to most of the people that will watch this. But I want to thank everybody for the time. Hope you, you know, feel, feel free to reach out to GOI, see what we're doing with Maps Engine. If there's applications that you're developing on top of Maps, Maps Engine that needs uh, current imagery or anything like that, please reach out to us because we want to be able to work with different developers in the community to bring interesting solutions out to customers. Thank you.